Why has SegWit adoption stalled out at about 12 percent of transactions? Well, a number of reasons. I think all of the wallets that were, let's say, more ideologically committed to implementing SegWit as soon as it came out did. And a lot of the larger players who do a lot of the transactions, the large volume of transactions, um, some exchanges, some very large wallets, some very large merchant providers, have not yet uh, finished the work on SegWit, and perhaps some have not even started the work on implementing SegWit. There's a strange set of incentives here, um, because if you operate one of these very large infrastructure companies, like an exchange or a merchant service or a very large wallet, um, if you pay low fees and um, give your users the flexibility to adjust fees and implement things like that, then if there's a problem with the fees, the spillover falls into your customer service department, where you have people complaining about stock fees. Sorry, stock transactions. And that has a very high cost of business. Responding to all of the customer service requests about stock transactions is very, very expensive. If instead um, you simply pass on the cost of the fees and give your users no option but to pay high fees, then mostly they take their complaints to the developers and the miners and the forums instead of your own customer service department, because you just go, ah, Bitcoin's broken, we have to pay high fees, even though you don't really have to pay high fees. Um, now that's kind of the cynical answer, and I want to be cautious because uh, there is some of that going on, some of the incentives, but I think a lot of the explanation for why the big players have not yet implemented SegWit is rather simple. The bigger the infrastructure player, the harder it is to introduce new features, new capabilities, software changes in a way that doesn't cause massive disruption or the possibility for massive loss. You see, the problem is with a lot of these players who have centralized control over keys um, or who have millions and millions of users moving hundreds of millions of Bitcoin around, while the benefits of implementing something like SegWit are great. Um, if the, most of the fees are paid by the users, they're not so great for the provider. The cost of doing that well, the number of hours you have to put in to implement a solution, to implement it well, to test it, to test it from a user experience and user interface perspective, to document it, to train the customer service people to be able to respond to questions. Um, you know, just a simple change, right? If you implement SegWit, Everyone in your company is going to be asking, okay, how do I move the coins that I already have into SegWit addresses? So you have to create some kind of migration process. And that's going to bring up other questions, which is why do I have to pay a fee to do that? I thought SegWit was going to save us money. And why do all of my addresses start with a three? I don't understand. I thought they started with a one, now they start with a three. Do I have multi-sig? No, I don't. What is this? What's going on? All of these questions will just pour into the customer service department. Which means that it takes quite a bit to move these large infrastructure players to a change that is fairly complicated, that will require some educating of their users, of their support staff. And so it takes time. This is not something that can be implemented overnight. I saw a tweet the other day where someone said, yeah, I took uh, three, three members of my team a day and a half to implement SegBit. What's up, Coinbase? Um, yes, well, uh, that's Junior League, and if you have 12 million customers, it takes a bit more in quality assurance, in testing, in documentation, in training, in order to roll, up, roll out a change like that, manage the migration of the customers, etc., etc., etc. It's a massive, massive infrastructure with a very, very high security burden, and quite honestly, you should be glad that large companies like Coinbase that have such an enormous responsibility and will create an enormous reputation hit for Bitcoin if they screw this up, you should be glad that they're taking their time and they're not doing the, hey, three people, two days, done approach to implementing SegWit. So we will see it, and it will probably be a step a step side increase in the number of SegWit transactions. Just one of these large infrastructure players, blockchain info, BitPay, Coinbase, 
uh, et cetera, et cetera, any of the other exchanges, some of the big wallets, just one of those implementing SegWit will increase by double-digit percentages the number of transactions that are uh, using SegWit and bring a whole new set of users into the fold. But it will take time. Why do you think companies like Coinbase, BitPay, and other big players in the system first push for SegWit 2x that now are not implementing SegWit into their own systems? Um, honestly, because uh, SegWit 2x, uh, a 2x increase in the base block size, externalizes the problem and pushes it onto other players and all of the cost of dealing with the problem. They would have to do absolutely nothing to their own infrastructure in order to get relief from fees. Uh, but they do that at the expense of putting a lot of pressure on node operators, especially independent and small node operators, by making it more expensive to validate, download, uh, and store the Bitcoin blockchain, because it's bigger. So, uh, if you're a business person and you're presented with two choices, Choice A takes all the pressure off you, has zero cost to implement, pushes all the costs on others, but it kind of starts pushing against some of the principles of the system. Choice B requires six months or more of heavy engineering in order to implement a scaling solution that you'll have to teach your users and your support about, and will have a lot of costs for you, and will bring you eh, more or less the same reduction in fees. Um, that uh, and take the pressure off you, but it involves a lot more cost. What do you do? Well, you go for Plan A, and when Plan A doesn't work because the rest of the um, ecosystem says no, uh, then you reluctantly and belatedly start implementing Plan B, and that's exactly what we're seeing. It's okay. It's a rational dis business decision making, uh, and it's the responsibility of a CEO to. Um, to respond to the needs of their investors first and their customers second, and the broader ecosystem and the amazing principles of Bitcoin, a long distant third. If you're expecting companies to act against their own self-interest in order to protect the ideology of Bitcoin, you're in for a surprise. Don't expect that.